things I'm saying. And, you know, Smithers Oasis, again, if you like us on Facebook, you'll notice that we post a lot of things from Smithers Oasis. Because they, that, of course, they're the, the, original, not the, original, yeah, they are the originator of the floral foam. But now they've branched off into some of these other assessments, like the aluminum wire. And they're always showing us different and new, unique things to do with that wire in the beam. Um, and one of the things, just to let it free flow through an arrangement, right? So it takes a very traditional round arrangement, and then David just adds this abstract wire to it. It just makes it a little more unique. It's very different. And I love this container. It's a white ceramic container, but it has that little design in it. It almost looks like a mosaic, right? A little bit of the shiny circles, and then that dull finish in between. A little bit different. I don't know what the price was off the end, but I do remember it very inexpensive as well for a, a nice, nice style. Isn't that beautiful? Somebody has a December wedding anniversary or a January wedding anniversary. Isn't that a great mercury glass container? All of that container is beautiful. All by itself. You know, a dozen roses, a container, and some ribbon. And this is, that's an old ribbon. That ribbon's been around since probably the 70s. But it's still very um, apropos. And then a little bit of the silver millimeter ball is added in. It's a gorgeous range. You know, so many times people tell me things like, don't use carnations, don't use um, don't use roses. It's like, why not? Just use them in a different way. You know, I think David has a great talent for that. See, all these arrangements are like carnations. Nobody sees them and says, oh, those are carnations. They look at those arrangements and go, oh, those are beautiful Christmas arrangements. Winter seasonal arrangements. I'm looking at this one right here. And this is that tubing, that venerable tubing. Isn't that great? And David just moves it, runs it through there, and adds a little bit of ribbon. It just takes a, a very traditional red purpose and red carnation arrangement and makes it look wow. Really different. And see how David's gathered the red millimeter balls but kept them in the middle of the arrangement? So it, it takes your eye right from the edge of this beautiful noble fur, right down into the arrangement itself. And then when you have that really looping in and out, it kind of catches your eye and brings you into the arrangement again. Here's the larger version of that white ceramic base special, just a second ago. That's just a fun You know, when I see arrangements like this, I always think about people who want to send flowers to somebody who works with them, and they want to send these beautiful, big arrangements. I'm like, that's a really nice idea. But practically speaking, this is probably more appropriate. And you could probably send them three or four of these over a two-month period of time, rather than just send one audacious arrangement that they're going to have to put out by the receptionist desk because they can't fit it on their desk. So, but this is very, this is a nice everyday type of arrangement. I'm sorry, what are you asking? Curly cues were a part of a spray to decorate a tree. So it's on a bigger spray, and David just cut it apart and stuck it in. And here's the tallest version of that base. Now I think you can see what I was talking about a little bit more. And David used some of those red alert blades, some red carnations, a couple pine cones, a little bit of western cedar just at the base to finish that. Together. I don't think you have to worry because so many times people come up and say, well, that's not exactly the red I want. That's really because your customer might not know the red you want. It's sometimes good to just have a blending of reds together, not just one red. If you do a couple of arrangements in a row, it would be nice to mix some of the carnation red, some of the Gerber daisy red, a little bit of the orange red from the lily. It's a nice blend.
Let's get down for the reception. Very, very well. 